Hey everybody, I'm back. This is part three of my generator build. Uh, this is going to be the testing of it. Uh, it's got the power strip, got two USBs, got your vents, has a, a voltage meter, has LED lights in the front of it, has your inverter, has your main power switch, and on the inside, it has your inverter, your solar charge controller, quite a few fuses, a fuse block for 12 volt, a temperature sensor, and that the temperature sensor is for the fan control. Now I'm going to plug it in and show you how it works. Turn the power on. Turn the inverter on. Turn the fan on. Runs a fan with no problem at all. Next, I'm going to take it outside and show you how it's charged up. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and set up my uh, portable solar panel here to do what I do all my testing with. Okay, now I'm going to plug in the solar uh, panel to the generator and see what it does it's now the photovoltaic is flashing meaning that the charge controller is charging now we're going to do a test of the charging system for home you know to be charged at home so we're going to plug the charger here in same place that we put these uh, solar panels. And then, as we can see by the flashing light, it is charging again. So everything is working fine on here. This concludes my test of my solar generator. And I want to do a once over of what I did to it. I cut in all the holes for the switches, the voltage regulator or meter, and the inverter that's a external switch for the inverter and your main power over on the side here we have the solar charger and the household charger on the other side we have lights and you can carry it like a uh, with the handle on the side and carry it like you're walking down a path and need to light up the path on the front of it, we have your vents, two vents, and your power strip with two USBs. On the inside, we have a 600 watt inverter with a 1200 watt peak. It's a pure sine wave inverter. We have a Wanderer solar charger, and then we have various fuses and then we have a fuse block here we have your main power up here we have a fan that sits right behind the our export fan the uh, inverter you have a temperature controller to control the fan for when it overheats thermostat tells the controller when to turn the fan on and i have that set for 30 degrees celsius if you would like to see more videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll be making more soon. Thank you.